This is a bit of a curveball question, but like, yeah, is, is there in your head is there a difference between like expressionism and escapism? Ooh, 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 damn! But did you just think of that question on the spot? Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. Shit. That's why I get paid the big bucks, man. <laughs> expressionism <laughs> and escapism. I ooh. Um, I'll tell you uh, where it comes from. So yeah, some thinking time. Okay. <laughs> Because I, I, I got a similar story about YouTube, for example. I started that in first year. And at the time, it's like, yeah, I want to be able to talk, speak my mind, you know, be expressive. But at the same time, it's like whenever I was bored of uni or like bored of, you know, the social aspects, mm-hmm. I would kind of do that. And even though at the time, I'm, like, I've always seen it as like a source of expression. And to be fair, now it very much is. I don't escape to YouTube anymore. Yeah. I initially, you know, to some degree, I kind of just did it because I didn't want to deal with everything else outside. That's the one time I really felt in control of what I was doing. Mm. It's one time where I felt like my effort, because like in uni you kind of study, but you don't really get anything out of it until you yeah. get a job. But like, I assume the same with you of like guitar. Every time you practice, you get better. You know, every yeah. time a video I get views, it's that like instant gratification. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I realized yeah. that there's more to it than just that expressive. It's more about some element was because I just wasn't happy of uni, and that was my escape. Yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, I wonder yeah. if it's similar with you. Yeah, yeah, definitely, like definitely. Yeah, they for sure they bleed into each other. It's, for sure, hundred percent. It's like it's a, I don't know, it's a thing where, yeah, it, it just depends on the way you look at it. Because um, because like we we both like thankfully we went about it in pretty positive ways. Uh, to kind of like I don't know, slightly escape from like the pressure of dealing with uh like not the best or the most ideal experience. Mm. But. Yeah, it, in a sense, it, yeah, for sure, it, it is a way. Oh, God, I'm looking at my guitar now. It was a way of, <laughs> of escaping. <laughs> I, I'm looking at it like it's a person. It's, just, it's a, like it's trying to talk to me. But um, <laughs> it's a proper artist, right there. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely was a way of like escaping and yeah, es- escaping those those kind of like like thoughts almost, but. Yeah, 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 for sure. I'm going to have to completely agree with you there. I don't know. The more you, you did it, the more, like, like the more, I'm assuming the more you did YouTube and the more you, like, you got into the swing of things, it's, it felt more liberating for you. Mm, yeah, absolutely. It got to a point where it's like, I actually want to do this as opposed to, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 exact same. And yeah, I, I can't really connect. To, like I can't really pinpoint like a date or something where it switched from something from like es- like escaping to like a genuine genuine joy. Mm. But yeah, it, it somehow bled into each other and yeah, bled into each other and like yeah, it's, it's it's a good thing. Cause I, I like I know in those instances it's pretty easy to turn to things that are not like really healthy or beneficial for you in the long run. Mm. And yeah, like that's why it's like it's really good to hear that you know there are obviously ways to kind of well I don't know if it was a healthy way, but there are like more productive ways of kind of dealing with that thing. Mm, yeah, definitely. It's like I can I guess now that I'm thinking about it, I draw a lot of comparisons to like what we do compared to like how others might go out every night mm. <laughs> or how they might I don't know take drink a lot. Yeah. And, even though it's not obvious, the comparisons aren't obvious. It's it's literally, you know, you're fed up with something, so you find a, a solution to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, something to put your energy into. Like, I guess yeah. to turn that into a question, like, do you think? I'm not sure. I I think I know what the answer's going to be. Mm. But do you think it was actually constructive and beneficial to take up music as a as a side thing? Uh, oh. Yeah, I, I know you know what my answer is going to be, and that's like 100% yes. <laughs> 100% yes. It's just, it's just something I find like really fun to do. And it's, uh, like I used to do the same, like before, before music, I used to do the same with like games and, um, like TV shows and anime and that kind of thing. Like that used to be my, like my natural escape route. But yeah, throwing something like, I don't know, learning. Into like learning an instrument or a couple of instruments or whatever into the mix was yeah definitely something worthwhile for sure. We hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want more content, be sure to check out our full episodes either here on YouTube or down below through the link in the description to find podcasts wherever you typically find your podcasts. 
Alternatively, you know, in the meantime, you can follow us on social media to stay up to date between episodes. Either way, I'm happy you guys were here to join us today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the clip. Um, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.